Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus and today we will be looking on how to control the thread free uh, home automation or the smart lighting system with Home Assistant. So this introduction is actually recorded after I set everything up. Uh, so my first experience is it's very easy to set up. You just need a little bit of config, one installation and you're done. So let's get going with the small demo. I have a camera set up at my light in my office, one in my uh, bedroom. So what I can do is enable it. It goes on. Same with my sleeping room or my bedroom. Disable them again. I can enable them. Um, you can start changing the brightness. Uh, oh. You can change the color temperature to whatever you want. Uh, so by default, the, the Trad Free remote has three modes, which is about somewhere here, somewhere here, and very bright. But here you have uh, complete control over every step, basically. Um, so well, it's very easy to set up, very easy to use. You can also add different groups. Um, but yeah, that's the introduction. Let's get going on how to install and configure everything. So I will just be following the uh, guidelines that are described here. Um, I have my Raspberry Pi open right over here. Uh, I will put the screens next to each other and I guess we can just start with everything. So I am actively using Home Assistant. As you can see, I have multiple um, things already here. So this will just be following the door, uh, the, the, well, following the guide here to install everything. I'm hoping this will work because I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm working, my Home Assistant is running in a virtual environment. So I'm not 100% sure um, the actual installation, if I need to do it in the virtual environment or outside. I'm thinking outside, but, and that's the first thing I'm going to try, but if it doesn't work, uh, I will let you know, uh, of course. So I will just be following these steps one by one. Uh, it won't be that much of rocket science, so I'm not sure how long this will take. So it's uh, 8.44 in the evening right now. So, I will be back once I have run every step here or if I've run into any issues uh, on the way here. So be right back. Okay, so I've finished setting up uh, all these comments. As you can see, I think Five minutes was all. I was thinking it was going to take longer, but anyway, uh, the next step is to change your configuration.yaml. Um, just put it here somewhere. Um, I'm going to put it below light for no obvious reason. Now the IP address of the thing is going to be a little more difficult to find. The API key is on the well. I took a screenshot of a QR code on the bottom of the thing, but there should also be an API key. So I'm going to check both of those, fill them in, and then we I will see you guys in Home Assistant. Be right back. I was able to come up with the correct uh, IP address and API key. So the API key is on the bottom of your hub, which is, yeah, you can find it just there. And I put it in my secrets file, so no harm can be done. Um, and then the host, I found it using nmop. Uh, the MAC address of your hub is also located on the bottom uh, of your hub, which is the serial number. And that serial number, you can use nmop uh, to, to find the IP address related to that. And then I put a static rule in my router, uh, in my DHCP router, to uh, always make sure that this is, will be the IP address of my um, of my hub. So uh, let's go to configuration and let's check if I made any mistakes in the configuration. I hope I didn't. Um, okay, it's valid. Let's restart. Uh, for whatever reason, I always have to press the restart twice. I'm not sure why that is happening. It's fairly annoying, but now it will restart. So this will take a few minutes. Let's wait for that to finish. 
Okay, it has finished restarting. Let's see if we have a new. Okay, we have our lights here. We have the groups. Um, okay, so I have a camera pointed. Um, where did it go? What? Oh, okay. No, I have to configure it first. Um, let's configure it. Um, please enter the security code written at the bottom of your uh, IKEA Tradfair gateway. Yeah, I know that one already. Let me fill this one in. Okay, confirm. Okay, I configured it. And this should be it then. So, let's... Okay, we enabled it. We can, I guess, change the brightness. That's very bright, I think. And that's off. I don't think I can change the the warm. What is this? Let me disable this. Okay, that's just probably the one lamp. And here I have the complete group, but there's only one lamp in the group. I don't think I can change the the light color um, because there are different kinds of uh, of white. It, if I can find the remote, so if I have the remote uh, in my hand here, um, I can also enable it. Let's see if it uh, okay. It doesn't see if I enable this, so this will probably not do anything. But I can then disable it from here. Oh wait a second, it did actually update. So if I turn it on, oh wait, let's turn it off and let's see if the device will automatically update itself to turn off. Maybe it only like checks every 10 seconds or so. What is happening? I'm not sure about that. Okay, so it automatically realized it was off. Let's turn it back on. Um, let's see how long it takes approximately. So uh, 25 seconds approximately. Okay, so um, you see it went on. And I also noticed that I can change the brightness, uh, not the brightness, I mean the, the color intensity of my light to like a very white and then warmer but I'm not sure if I can change this in Home Assistant. Oh wait, no, no, here, color temperature. Okay, it, it is possible. I just, oh, I'm going to change the brightness to lower because my eyes are... Uh... Okay, yeah, so it automatically noticed that, so I can make the color... Okay, I can make the color warmer and colder. So it's actually possible. You can do everything in Home Assistant. Um, can do it to remote and you can even like in home assistant you can do everything from very bright and then use every step in between to change a color if i use the remote uh, i only have like three presets so this is one this is one and this is one so but with home assistant i can use all of them so in the group you cannot do this but that's not needed, so you can control each individual device. So it's the second day now that I've been using the Tradfree smart lighting solution from IKEA. As you can see, I've added both of my lights. So I have my office light and my sleeping room light, which I still want to rename. Um, and also, as you can see, these names I have actually configured in the application. So I have different groups. I have hidden the groups uh, using my configuration file. So if I uh, type allow trad free groups, uh, false, it won't show the groups because I only have one light in each group for now at least. Uh, I, I won't be needing this. So my initial conclusion is that setting up the trad free uh, lighting solution with Home Assistant is very straightforward, very easy, and it does everything you need. And it has a few additional features compared to the standard remote that you can change the temperature to almost everything. Same with brightness. Brightness is 10 with the remote, but here you can well do it per one if you want. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. 
I really like that this is a cheaper solution than the Philips Hue. I hope IKEA will release colored lights and more solutions like uh, LED strips as well because I think it has a lot of poten potential. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!